Hey y'all, Caleb here. Uh, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take our uh, Azure static web app and um, get uh, a root domain and SSL through Cloudflare. Um, so I'm not going to go through the steps to set up a custom domain uh, in Azure because they're basically the same as with a blob storage website. Uh, so if you want to step through that, you can go um, take a look at, at that video, uh, which I posted a couple of weeks back. Um, in this one, we're actually going to look at the steps that you take after uh, you've associated a custom domain with your static app. Um, and uh, it's actually, it's, it's really neat um, and it's free, which is always uh, a plus. Um, and uh, there is a blog post uh, that goes into details about this, which I'll link in the description, but uh, we'll just go ahead and get started. So um, I've already done this with my personal website. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a site and we're just gonna enter the name, Caleb C. Wells, and we need to add .com. Okay, and we're gonna select the free plan. That's the exact same thing I did with my personal website. Um, this is gonna be everything that we need um, is in the free plan. So we click continue. And it's actually gonna to go to GoDaddy, which uh, holds my domain and look for existing records and pull them in. Um, and as you can see, it, it found the existing records, pulled them in, um, which right, saves you time uh, having to do the process yourself. And so we're just gonna click uh, continue. Okay, so this is a very important step, right? Um, right now, uh, GoDaddy is managing my domain. And so I'm using its name servers. Uh, to move it to Cloudflare, you have to make sure to change your name servers. So, so we're, gonna, we're gonna click this one first. Um, and what you're going to do, right, is you're going to go to wherever your, your domain is hosted, go into your DNS management settings. There should be a section for name servers, right? And so we're going to click change. And we're going to enter our own domain name servers, and we're going to paste the first one. I'm going to go back and get the second one. And we're going to save. And we're going to say, yes, we're okay with changing this. They just want to make sure you're not screwing anything up, but we're not. Okay. And uh, they may take a minute to, to propagate, but uh, we have uh, changed our name servers. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to um, step through their their quick start guide, which is, which is actually very helpful. Um, we want automatic HTTPS. That's one of the, the benefits of this is uh, anyone using HTTP, it will get converted. So we're definitely going to want to do that. Um, always use HTTPS. So, so this is going to uh, force uh, everything to be um, HTTPS. And um, when you can auto minify um, your JavaScript, CSS, HTML, if you want, um, you you know depending on how large your site is, you actually may get um, get a get a benefit from this. Uh, but we're going to just leave it unchecked for now. And uh, there's no reason not to leave this one on. It just this speeds up um, load times because they use this Brotley compression. So we're going to save that, and we're going to click finish. Okay, and let's go back over here and make sure that it, it actually made the change. Okay, good. So uh, now you can see that uh, uh, GoDaddy can't show us any of the DNS information because it is not managing it any longer. It is being managed by Cloudflare. So, so now that we have um, this set up, we're going to want to go into DNS. 
right? And um, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to keep this C name. This uh, orange uh, says that everything is being proxied through um, through Cloudflare, right? But for our DNS, for our main uh, website, uh, we don't want that. We just want it to do DNS only, okay? Um, and the next thing we want to do, this is this is part of what gives us our root domain is we want to add a record and it's going to be a C name. We're going to use uh, calebcwells.com and we're going to target www.calebcwells.com. And we're, we want this to be proxy through Cloudflare Flare, so it takes anything that is coming to the root and uh, sends it to www. Okay. But in this case, we already have an A record, so we're going to edit this and delete it because we want to replace it with another C name. Um, and in most cases, an A record uh, or an A type will work just fine. Um, but uh, based on the, the instructions um, I followed and based on the setup I have on my personal website, um, these are the suggested settings. So uh, type C name, calebcwells.com, going to www. So we're going to click save. Okay, so if we hover over this, um, you'll see that this is what allows us to have both www and our root domain. Um, Cloudflare is seeing that, hey, you know, this record already exists, so we're going to flatten this. So really, we have, we have what ends up being seen from the outside is one C name that is used by both um, Caleb C. Wells and www.calebcwells. Okay, so the, the, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go verify that um, SSL is on, and it is. Um, and you can make uh, changes here. You can go strict, right? You can do some of their um, recommended settings. Uh, and I've made a few tweaks uh, for my personal website. Uh, but uh, with this whole process, again, it can take some time for everything to get to get moved over. Um, one of the things that that is useful to do, uh, not necessarily required, but if you run into issues with your site or with uh, uh, being redirected or pathing, you can add a page rule. And you get three uh, page rules for free with a free account. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a page rule and we're going to say um, exactly what is shown here. So if the URL matches calebcwells.com, that's basically anything um, that comes into calebcwells.com and uh, anything routing beyond that, we want to forward it permanently to HTTPS www.calebcwells.com and dollar. Uh, this dollar is um, part of their, their page rule uh, that will actually say if, if you have a path on your URL after the root um, to use that path. Now for ours, of course we don't, it's a very simple website, but this just basically says anything that's coming in this way, take that whole path and put it on the end. So we're going to save and deploy and, uh, we leave that on and now we're, we're set. Um, uh, like I said, it can take a little while. So I'm going to just show you as an example, my personal website and how, how it works. So if we go to calebwellscoes.com, see it goes to HTTPS, www.calebwells.com. If we try to go to uh, HTTP, it's going to push it to HTTPS. Uh, so um, you give it time, let it finish the setup, and uh, it's it's 
it's a great setup. It's uh, again, it's free, which is perfect. And um, so regardless of whether people use the WWW or not, they will get to the appropriate um, location on your site uh, with SSL turned on. Okay, so I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I hope it was helpful. Um, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye, y'all.